So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your lovely 4x3 landscape shot and crop it vertically to a 9x16 ratio, maximising the use of the phone screen. Leaving it in 4x3 will give you this whole image, but with a weird empty space at the top and the bottom. To get started in Premiere Pro, you're going to click Sequence Settings and change the values to 1080 by 1920 Then click OK and it will preview what the footage will look like. In some of the shots, you may want to reposition the framing. For instance here, I'd prefer to see more of the mountain in the background and the sunnier side of the shot. For other things like time lapses, you may want to keyframe the video to scan across from one side to the other. And in more complex shots with a moving subject, you may need to get creative. Premiere Pro 2020 has this auto reframe feature that you can try. So you're happy with your sequence and now you're ready to export. So head over to File, Export, Media. The settings I use are as follows. Format should be H.264. Under the Videos tab, we're going to uncheck the box and just make sure that it's 1080 by 920. Max frame rate for Instagram stories is 30 frames per second. But for me, I know this footage was shot at 24 frames per second, so I'll leave it as that. Click render at maximum depth and then scroll down to bitrate settings. This is where opinions vary somewhat. I go for VBR two pass, set my target bitrate to 3.5 and max to four. If this seems really low, it's because it is. Because of how Instagram and Facebook are optimized for being used on the go over mobile networks, a lower bitrate cap means faster loading videos. So there's nothing stopping you from uploading a clip that's 4K and 60 frames per second to your story, but one way or another, it's going to get compressed down. And when it's Instagram doing that, it can be pretty horrific. So this is the lesser of two evils. As a bonus tip, one thing that you can do to mitigate this slightly is create an adjustment layer, drag it onto your clips. Here you can bump up the sharpness of your video just slightly to compensate a bit for the reduced quality, making everything look a little bit fuzzy. That's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next week.